Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Real Games, and in today's video, of course, we're back on Block Tycoon and we're gonna be showing you how to make the best aqua stone or aqua farm ever. So let's just get straight into it. So as you can see, it's been modified a tiny bit since the last build. Uh, and I'll quickly run you through basically what's happening. So down here below, you've got the fast conveyors into a cash point and you have what used to be. So my old build used to be pretty much just one of these or one of each of these. So it used to be the one uh, block or the one compressor, the one brick maker and the one pillar maker. But now I've made a way to, to make it into three. So you've got the three pillars, three pillar makers, three brick makers, and the three compressors. And if we go up here, uh, it's all made out of glass so that you can kind of see everything. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do this, but it is completely up to you. But as you can see here, instead of the kind of like two by two space in the middle, we've changed it into a four by four space. And as you can see, the way that this pattern is made, you can just do straight lines of conveyors like that but i found out that um, if you did that the middle two conveyors they don't really get much in terms of uh, like shards so what you can do instead to make it just slightly more efficient is put uh, diagonal ones going into the center just on the corners that makes it uh, much more efficient I think before I did that, I was making around 15 million a second. And whilst doing that, I'm now making, you know, between 19 and, you know, sometimes 21 million, I think, is the max I've seen it so far. But yeah. And again, instead of the, you know, two by twos going up and then the two by twos going up on this side, it's now a four by four. But it's a four by one, two, three, four, five, six. But again, you can build it as, as high as you want. But just make sure that it's a 4x4x4 four by four by four. and then if you wanted to fill in this side as well by all means go for it. The reason why I didn't do it is because it does fill up quite fast and you know you don't want to be losing some of your stock. So as you can see here like it's filling up 2, 12, like 8, 90, 89 like it fills up quite quick so if I did another one obviously it's going to be filling up even quicker. So let's give you a demonstration of how to build this. So what you're going to want to do is for one layer, this is all for uh, how to build it from one layer, is you're going to need 12 aquastone shard catches. And basically what you're going to want to do is on any level you want, obviously if you want to build this right here, um, just very quickly I'll show you. You need to buy a compressor, a mega brick maker, and a mega pillar maker. So what you want to do is grab the pillar maker. You're going to want to do the pillar, pillar maker first. And as you can see, it's got two in, like inputs, and then one output. So with the one output, you're going to basically want to put this on the floor. And then obviously put a chest right here. Or, you know, a cash block, whatever you want. For this part... You're going to actually want to extend or like raise it up by one block and then you're going to want to put the brick maker down. So if I can get this right, just like that. And then this one, you're going to want to build it up by two so that, you know, the actual outputs are going straight into the inputs, just like that. So as you can see here, the shards will go into here. They'll get compressed into the blocks. The blocks will go into or straight into the brick maker and then the bricks will go into the pillar maker so that's basically the bottom setup again if you want to put it into three by all means go for it and let's get back into this so you're going to want to put four like this then right next to it on this side make sure that the output is facing inwards into like the big square here so just imagine there's a big cobblestone square like here the four and uh, make it four by four as well and make sure the outputs are facing this way so when you're doing it i recommend standing in the middle just makes things easier so as you can see four outputs right there turn it around and then four outputs right there so as you can see we've got this kind of design right now and obviously if you wanted to as well you could just get another four but we're gonna stick with the original design idea and then 
we'll see how it goes from there. So what you want to do from here is cover the corners with any block of your choosing. I'm just going to do cobblestone because it's the cheapest option. And you're basically going to want to extend this out by one each side. Just like that. So as you can see here, they're extended out by one side, extended out. And then what you're going to want to do from here is diagonally from the one that you've just extended, you're going to want to put another piece of cobblestone for each aqua stone catcher that you have. So just like this, as you can see, from each corner diagonally, it goes forward. So you leave a block gap in the middle. So we do this for each side, just like this. And as you can see, it should start to look like this. Now, the reason why we've kept the gap is because for aquastone catches to work, you need to be placing water. So fill the empty gaps with water and they do all have to be water like source blocks. And there you go. That is the pretty much premise of the design. And obviously, if you want to decrease the item limit, you can always just fill these up with chests. Just like that. And there you go. That is basically the premise of the design. If you want to build it higher, just like this, it's the exact same thing. You don't need to change anything. Just build up the sides with the cobblestone, build up the aquastone catchers, and then put the water in. Again, I recommend doing it in that order so that it doesn't make a mess and you don't flood your entire area with aquastone, well, water. So I'm just gonna show you this quickly as well. If I do this, and I just grab some conveyors like this. And I throw these aquastone shards in here just to show you that this is the system that works. And as you can see, there is the pillars right there. So that is the basic premise of this farm. Um, I hope it does help. I know there's been a lot of uh, questions about aquastone farms. And I honestly, again, like my recent builds that I've been doing, I genuinely think that this is probably the most efficient farm that I have found on YouTube or at least on my channel so far and yeah I think it's all thanks to the actual like size of it and yeah so like I said before this farm gets you around 18 or 17 to I think the max again like I said was around 21 million cash per second and that is a lot of money and you can obviously make this even even more like crazy this is basically just the like minimal that you can do obviously you can just do the aquastone catches and that could be it but what you can do as well is grab the mega stair maker and the mega slab maker so if we do this we do that and then we grab the brick maker and the compressor now again, you're going to want to do this in order, uh, but I'll just quickly show you. So what you can do instead is put the slab maker down like this, then put the stairs, then put the, make sure this is right, then put the brick maker, and right here you can put the block compressor. So now if we go up here, I'm going to need a little, a little boost. If we do this and put the conveyors down again grab these aquastone shards throw them down and as you can see that should be starting to work each block perfectly so there you go if you wanted to add a little boost of money uh, i'm not sure how much these sell for but with the basic pillars you'd be making 3 million per pillar and with the slabs you will be making 1.4 million per slab so honestly it's completely up to you how you want to do it i personally do the pillars because the first time I'm actually making this, the stairs and the pillars, uh, the stairs and the slabs weren't working for me. And then I've realized over time that it takes longer to make the slabs and the pillars sell for more anyways, especially at my level now, I'm on life 10, soon to be life 11. And I just realized that the pillars just make more money for me. But yeah, that is the basic premise. That is the tutorial on how to better improve and make the best Aquastone farm in Block Tycoon. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did and you found it helpful or informative, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below what videos you want to see next, and I will see you guys in the next one.
Peace. Peace.